CPU Galaxy. Welcome to another video on the CPU Galaxy channel. Yeah, and today we will have again a closer look on the Cyrix 5X86 CPU. In one of my last videos I was doing some overclocking and benchmarking on the Pentium Overdrive, the AMD X5 and the Cyrix CPU. I performed a lot of benchmarks and put a lot of effort too into this comparison. Well, the outcome was a bit disappointing to me, cause the Cyrix CPU got beaten by the Pentium Overdrive and the AMD fatally. Yeah, after some research in the web, I found out that the Cyrix 5x86 CPU has a lot of special features and functions which are by factory default disabled to ensure compatibility with the wide range of mainboards and chipsets at this time. So the 5x86 was far ahead with its technology of what most older Socket 3 chipsets could support. Yeah, I will not go uh, too much into details about these register settings, because if you want to understand all this stuff, you need to register for a course in computer architecture. Yeah, but I will show you today a nice source for all this information and I will benchmark the CPU again with all its enabled features to see how big the improvements will be. Yeah, during my research in the web, I ended up at Wagons, a topic written by Fibor. Yeah, this guy from Canada did an amazing job here and is providing endless information on the topic Cyrix register enhancements. Yeah, all different features are also well described as FP fast uh, is enabling fast FPU exception handling and many others. I will not go into technical details here, but important for you is the provided download link on this site for the tools you need to set the CPU by some commands. Yeah, another interesting topic of this guy are register settings for various CPUs. And here we can find also his recommendations for the 5x86 CPU. So he did a lot of research work on that and you can find here the register settings for the UMC chipset as well for the SIS chipset. So without having too much knowledge about that, you should be able with exact that command line to boost your CPU. I will put all needed links for you down into the video description. Yeah, another nice work this guy did was creating a PDF document with all these technical details. Yeah, and this dude here did again an amazing job. It's almost a bachelor's thesis and I can definitely recommend to go through this document if you are interested to understand all this stuff a little bit better. Yeah, thanks from my side to Fiboa for his great work. Yeah, I'm using here the same setup as in my overclocking video, therefore I will not go too much into details. Just check out the overclocking video if you want to uh, get more details about the setup. Yeah, but now it's uh, testing time and I'm already curious about the charts at the end. Yeah, here on the post screen we can already see the Cyrix CPU clocked at 120 megahertz now. And let's wait to boot up. Yeah, so I prepared a directory called Cyrix, and here we have uh, the program from Peter Moss, 5x86, so this uh, you can find in a download link um, at Vogons. Let's call 5x86 once, and we can see here it's giving the device stepping 0 and device revision 5 from the CPU I have right now here in the socket. Um, let's check first speed switch. Because all values are now um, by factory uh, disabled, so we have here now the same value I think uh, as in the overclocking video from the last time. Let's see, and we get here a score of 55.14 for the CPU benchmark. So now let's try to call um, only one function. x86 slash fp so we try this um, floating point unit fast on and let's compare now again with speeds what we can get here now only by activating uh, one function Yeah, and we can see here already now a big improvement. We get instead of 55, a CPU score of 64.12. So this is already a nice improvement only by activating this one 
uh, FPU fast special function. So now let's try also the other stuff. It's really interesting that it gets so much improvement. So if you don't have this SIS 496 or the UMC chipset where we have the right settings already at Vogons available, I would recommend to start switching on and off each function and check always in between with some benchmarks your performance and if your setup is running stable to find out the configuration which is working proper for your board. So I prepared here already a, a batch file um, where I'm calling all the functions as shown in the in the topic of the uh, Vogons uh, website for the sys chipset. So boost, so now everything should be set proper and we can check now again speed sys. Yeah, and now we get 68 point something so already again a little bit improvement very nice i'm curious about the other benchmarks we can check now After performing all the benchmarks again with and without the activated functions, we can see in the chart already a nice improvement of the performance. Yeah, in Quake we could achieve 2.2 frames more. Doom was increasing to 54 frames from 49.9. At PC Player 320 to 200 we got also one additional frame. 3D Bench we could boost to 93.5 frames instead of 86.7 we got without the boost. The floating point unit could also increase its performance for 27%. Also the integer benchmark could get increased significantly. At Spitzes we can see also a huge performance step with the first level cache, from 138 MB per second to 172. 68 instead of 55 points for the CPU rating at Spitzes and at Norton Sys Info we got a value of 380 instead of 316. Yeah, if we put all this together in the chart, the Cyrix with enabled features is 90 points ahead, which is a performance boost of more than 18%. So and now the question, is this now changing the rating from my last overclocking video where the Cyrix lost behind the AMD and the Pentium overdrive? And yes, the enabling of these special CPU features is definitely a game changer here. The Cyrix could overtake the AMD with 5 points and if we take the level 1 cache performance under consideration, the gap is even getting bitter between them. I'm sorry now for the AMD X5 CPU, but these benchmark results are reflecting what I was expecting from the beginning on. Yeah, that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, please subscribe or give some thumbs up, leave me some comments if you want to discuss something, have a nice day and see you soon.